Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Cthulhu Saves the World on the PC. Last time, we uh, had a whose name is harder to pronounce contest between Cthulhu and Nyarla Thotep. I'm still not sure how to pronounce it. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. And now we got to go off to the Ghostly Forest. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Sharp only had 500 experience left for his next level, so I went ahead and just uh, fought like four battles here. Let's see what we get here. Just pure stats or HP and MP. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to give him one final MP level up just because he does uh, end up using his uh, Tempest ability during random battles for groups of enemies. And then after that, I'll get more uh, strength and whatnot. Because it seems like they're offering that choice reasonably often here, which is nice. So that works out for me. Right, we already read that question mark last time, I do believe. I'm assuming the ghostly forest is around here somewhere. You know what, with all the mini-maps that we don't have. Okay, that must be the ghostly forest right there, but let's see what's over here. Got puke zombies and tentacles. Let's see, regular Casanova. It's ironic. And still waiting for his day. Well, if you ever go to Japan there, buddy boy, you should be A-OK. -okay. But if you don't, well, I can't really say nothing about that, so, oh well. Alright, but yeah, I think this is pretty much going to be our random battle combo, because I think it'll, yeah, pretty much kill everything. And those guys didn't really give that much experience, but then again, we have a little while before we get our next level anyways. Okay, that might be like a side quest cave right there. A Swampa. Let's see what you got there, bud. Writes teen fiction in his spare time. Well, good for you, bud. You gotta have something to do, right? Alright, let's, let's make everyone insane, and then let's, uh, magic everybody to death here. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Well, it did, but they all died. So, yeah. I was hoping that they might have ended up with uh, a few more minutes of life in them, but I guess not. Dem bones. Let's see, the ultimate mobile archers. And not to be confused with a certain other hero who may or may not be named Dem Bones, pretty much. Yeah, good for them, I guess. Let's see. We don't need to heal. Yeah, let's just go with uh, tentacles because, well, by the time these guys get finished with our magic, well, it's probably not going to matter. Let's see, Tempest, yeah, just 50 damage each. Oh, it's actually doing more than Umi. Huh. Maybe they're actually weak to the wind. I don't know. Right, and October's does 112 each. Okay, so that's not too bad. So October definitely has the most damage there. Uh, I'm actually curious about... Um, you guys, the stats. 200 for you, 160 for you. I'm guessing, um... I'm guessing it just has slightly better... magic power to start. That's the only reason I can think of that she would end up uh, weaker than him in the magic department. In Breath of Death 7, we tried random encounter setups to maps and locations. Oh, we tied random encounter setups to maps and locations. In Cthulhu Saves the World, we did things a little differently. In Dungeons, it would determine the monster setup based on how many battles he had already fought. So that fought there so that the monster's groupings get more difficult later on. On the world map, we don't look at location at all, outside of which tile type you're standing on. Instead, we look at how far you are into the story and select an appropriate group of foes based on that. Speaking of which, try fighting a battle in a swamp near the end of the game for a Breath of Death 7 throwback. Okay, cool. Wait, so what is it? Let's see... In dungeons, it would determine the monster setup based on how many battles you'd already fought there. Oh, so basically, I'm guessing if you like do like the basic like ten battles that it says right here, and then try to do more later, it would end up being stronger later on. I'm guessing, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what we got. It's crazy good at surfing. Good for you, Teen Wolf. Was once a beautiful woman. Now uh, not so much. And give up on astrology years ago. Yeah. Uh, friends, you are not. Yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead with the... Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, insane everybody here. Let's do single targets today. Why not? Let's see. I thought I had my... Let's see. Let's go ahead and poison the, uh... Centaurs there. Because they have plenty of... Power. Let's see. Hopefully, this ice strike is able to take them out. And let's see, let's go with a lightning on uh, one of these centaurs here. 
Most of the single targets are probably just better for um, bosses, anyways. Let's see. Flame Strike for you. Your Seal Strike is the next strongest thing you got there, so let's put that on Centaur. You, let's see. Multi Strike on Werewolf. And you go for a Dark Blast on Centaur, I guess. Yeah, I think it works out better with just uh, spamming multi-target attacks. Right, we can't go on those extra dark tiles right there. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a uh, river or something. Kajab? What is that? Also, a killer uppercut. I like the uh, little descriptions they have for the monsters here. They're fun. They give them a little bit of a uh, flavor. I guess that's what they're going for. So, good for them. October. Let's see. Targets one group power. 116. One hit poison. Targets one enemy. 185. One hit poison. Um, well, Umi has the group poison right now. So, let's go ahead and give uh, October the single target poison there. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference one way or the other. If we got to poison a boss, it'll get poisoned eventually. Now, let's go ahead with... Uh, do we need... No, we don't need that. Yeah, let's just keep on with the uh, same general setup here. It's nice that they gave us all our AoE moves nice and early this time. In Breath of Death 7, eh, not so much. It was mostly single targets for the vast majority of that game, really. Now, right, let's go ahead and do some more uh, single targets here. Um, flame Strike on... Um, I'm curious. I'm curious how much it'll do to the Ito Zumaki there. Let's see you. Let's go with a seal strike on one of the swampas there. You ice strike on the crab there, or not the crab, the snail. And you still don't have any single target text. So let's see. Ice strike did. 300, but I thought you had 400 HP. Was I, was I mistaken there? For some reason I thought the uh, snails had more HP than that. Huh, I must have been thinking of the other enemy we fought. Not really a whole lot going on in this cave. Hopefully there's something at the end. Okay, it was the werewolf that had uh, 400. But it seems like the uh, ice did reasonably good there. So let's just go ahead and keep up with the multis. And that should take about it. Well, almost around. I'm kind of hoping it's not just potions at the end, because, I mean, sure, that's nice, but at the same time, eh, we got plenty of potions and we're not using them. The mascot of a chain store in Japan. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if that actually was the case, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, yeah, I watch a lot of anime and stuff, but I have no idea about, like, stores unless it shows up in an anime, and even then, I don't really pay that, that much attention. I mean, heck, the most stores I see in anime are, um... Whack Donald's, which is just McDonald's with uh, the M turned into a W. And that's just for, I'm guessing, copyright reasons. Okay, let's see what's over on this side here, because that looks like it might be the end side on the left. Okay, you guys actually survived pretty well, especially you. But we should be able to polish them off here. Or not, nah, okay. Luckily, our HP is always fully restored. Mana, not so much, but I'm finding it's not that much of a problem so far. A flame tome. As you pull your treasure out of the chest, the guarding the swamp appears. The dreaded fire whale. Watch out! Hey, fire whale, and he's doing push ups with his fins. Awesome. Call him Ishmael. Sure, buddy. Alright, so I'm guessing my particular uh, flame strike is not going to be doing so awesome there. So let's see what we got here. We can insane strike him. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and insane strike him, I guess. 
All right, you, let's go ahead and see if we can't blind him there. You, try your ice strike first. And for you, let's go ahead with lightning. Okay, so let's see what, how everything does here. Ice strike did, it looked like much less damage than it should have, so no ice. Blind strike worked out pretty good. And he's blinded, that works. Insane strike, very good. And he's extra flamey now. That's probably not gonna be working out too well. And lightning did very well. 88 damage to Umi, so pretty tolerable there. Okay, uh, let's see. I think tentacles will actually do the most damage to this guy at the moment. So yeah, let's do that. See if we can't slow him down a little. Uh, let's go ahead and sharpen up. And we don't have any heals at the moment, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's just uh, keep spamming. Let's get him poisoned real fast. Okay, go. Strength is up. Slow strike worked out. Plenty of damage there. And you missed. Perfect. Alright. Let's go ahead with... Uh, keep on the tentacles there. You go ahead and... Heal up uh, Umi real f yourself. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you go ahead with... A Brave Wind for extra agility and the extra attack there. You... Let's go with a uh, Dark Blast and see how well that does. There we go, very nice. Dark Blast was pretty good. I think uh, Lightning did slightly less, but not really. Alright, and we got a nice combo break going right there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep on building it up, though, for the moment. I don't think you have any magic that I'm noticing there, so I'm not going to bother with it. Let's go ahead with... Somebody needs to be healed, right? October needs a little bit of healing. Let's do that. Uh, Multi-strike, it's not going to add any extra attacks, I don't think. But our regular attack will do perfect damage right now. That'll be beautiful. And let's go with another... Yeah, Dark Blast is doing the most, I think. There we go. That worked out pretty good. Oh, they're losing a lot of HP to poison. I like that. Alright, so let's go ahead with... Death Blow, since nobody's actually bothering to... Death Blow either. Um... Hey, let's seal. Might as well. I thought we had a combo finisher there, yeah, Quake. Yeah, but it's not going to do that much, really, I don't think. So let's just keep up with the uh, Dark Blast there. Alright, 540 from regular attack from Sharp. Seal Strike did good enough. 1300 for our combo breaking Death Blow. Very nice. And 500 from that. Let's see. Your HP is pretty dang low now. Let's see, we should be able to more or less. Actually, what's your regular attack? 105 and 1 versus. Yeah, tentacle should be fine. Uh, who needs to be healed? Anybody? Actually, I don't think anybody's actually taking any damage, really. And we might be able to just uh, spam them down with uh, physical attacks now. And there we go, that worked out pretty good. A lot of HP, or uh, XP. Let's see, 30 vitality and will, or 40 agility. You need the agility for sure, because uh, you got plenty of uh, defense. Umi. I think last time we went for the HP and MP. This time we're just going to go for straight stats, so that'll be nice. And there we go, that worked out pretty good. And we still have two battles left. I'm not sure if that was the end of the cave, and I'm not sure what our... Um, I think that fire tome was for October? No? Oh, there we go. It's off to the uh, side there. Fire plus 50% or extra MP. And we have plenty of MP, so let's go ahead and do the extra fire damage. And do you even have any fire skills now that I'm thinking of it? Because if you do, I'm not remembering them right off. Oh, yeah, Fireball, which I never actually use. Okay. So, yeah, she does have fire skills. Just what? Nothing that I've actually put to use yet. Let's see. Let's go ahead with tentacles. Go for a blind strike on somebody there. Go for a multi strike. Yeah, one enemy, three times. That'll work. And you go with a fireball on. Oh, targets a group. I thought it was single target. Okay, that works. Yeah, 
it does tolerable damage. They're not resistant to it, they're not weak to it, so either way it works. Hey, a sharp guy does another level. Let's see, wind strike, nice physical attack at 420 damage, or tornado targets one group. Um, let's take the wind strike for. Actually, no, I'm trying to think about this. Let's see. Tornado, it's already inferior to. Uh, what is it? It's already inf inferior to our current wind ability, because that hits everybody. This one hits a group. Uh, wind Strike is going to be good for his physical attack power, but at the same time, if we keep up with the um, agility buff that adds plus one hit, we're probably just going to physical attack anyways. Yeah, might as well go for Wind Strike, though, just because it has better physical power, and that will probably, be, probably work out better overall, but... Okay, might as well. Yeah, because your Tempest already hits everybody. Yeah, it doesn't hit as hard, but it's everybody. That's pretty much what counts right there. Uh, yeah, let's go with Quake. If it was one group of enemies, yeah, that would work out fine. Like, sometimes in the, um, the zombie clubhouse, or whatever it was, we'd find groups of just seven solid zombies, and that worked out pretty good for taking them out quick, fast, and in a hurry. But if it's just two groups or more, then yeah, just go quake. And we got a granite blade, and we don't gotta fight for it. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, blades are for sharp. Ooh, very nice. 100 vitality, so your defense just skyrocketed there. Heck, that's better, well, same armor as your uh, hilt there. That worked out pretty good. And I think that's all of this area, so let's go ahead and teleport, uh, yeah, we can't teleport out of the cave, unfortunately, so like, we can just walk. Yeah, it's not that far. This was a nice little detour of a cave. I'm curious, if we get into another fight, will that have even stronger enemies since it's uh, already did the the five? No? These guys are all kind of weak, actually, as far as I can tell. I mean, unless they, unless they hit us up, like, really strongly. Yeah, I know, you haven't learned any text. Unless they hit really strongly that I just haven't noticed. Well, there's not much point to those guys. Let's see, how is our... October, you could use a couple fights there, but... I might do those off-screen or something. I don't think it's going to take too long to get them. I, I thought they were saying that we would get more stronger enemy combinations. But if it's just going to be the same thing, yeah. I mean, I'll live either way, but... I thought maybe if you got into a couple battles, you'd get, uh... A couple extra battles than you're supposed to, you'd get, like, a... Rare, super powerful enemy or something that, you know, gives a lot of experience, takes a lot of, uh, hits, you know. Little secret mini-boss enemy. Not really a boss, but... Yeah, bossy enough. Bossy enough to say, hey, you're fired. Alright, we got the archers and the crejabs again. We've already fought all these chumps. And you survived with barely any HP left. Alright, the forest was... Where was the forest? I thought the forest was up in that little path right there, but it must have been uh, slightly further north. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're doing pretty good, so let's go. And 30 battles, so we got a while in here. In, in an early build of the game, there was a bug that you skip this dungeon. The inside of the ghost forest and the world map didn't have proper obstruction mapping, so you can enter the forest dungeon from the south side, immediately exit, walk through the forest on the world map, enter the north entrance, and immediately exit to skip the whole thing. Needless to say, we fix this before release. Yeah, so the speedrunners aren't too terribly happy with you then, are they? I mean, I personally prefer to take my time playing games, so that's just me. What is this place? Their cult worship site. We should be on our guard. But they worship Cthulhu, right? We should be safe, right? Not necessarily. Coldus aren't known for being reasonable. They will probably attack everyone on site, even their own god. You have some weird followers. 
you're telling me. Eh. Followers are weird, but they're necessary for paperwork and all sorts of other stuff. One moment. The Ghost Forest dungeon is constructed in a way different than any other location in the game. Instead of strictly using our normal tile system here, trees are pasted directly onto certain locations. The whole process required a lot of annoyingly difficult custom code to get working correctly, and the end result wasn't any better looking than the other dungeons, so we're definitely not going to do that again. Yeah, I guess you can kind of tell that the trees look better in here, but, I mean, kind of. I'm not a huge fan of the fog, mainly because I can't see where I'm going. Looking for a Miss Snake Charmer. A Miss Snake Charmer, I get it. One of the better opera singers you've met. Yeah. Personally, my favorite opera singers are Gaston and uh, Ursula. But I think I think the guy that played Gaston actually was an opera singer. Ursula, um, I don't know actually. She just kind of reminded me of it a little. But I could be wrong on Ursula. Gaston, for a fact, I know. It was actually some opera dude, and that's why his singing was always so awesome. Yeah, now there should be a dead end right there, okay? Not quite what I was going for. I was going for the chest being on this side, but if you want to toy with my emotions this early in the game, that's fine. Before the world began, the Mist Wolf, the mist wolf was here. Well, he's not going to be here for much longer. Especially not with that much HP. There you go. Beautiful. In October, let's see. Targets one enemy adds insanity. Targets one group resistance is minus fit. Okay, now see, that's something that's good, even though it's only groups. So basically, more damage for one group of enemies, or insanity for one enemy. Oh, that also has a resistance, uh, but really, we can add insanity to the whole the whole field with um, Cthulhu, and I'd rather affect more enemies at once, especially since if this had damage to it, I might think about it. But she's mo she's pretty much all magic anyways, so uh, yeah, let's just go with the fragile for the group. So that works out excellent. All right, now down here, let's see, is this going to be? Something I keep wanna I keep wanting to check the rocks for nothings and other stuff, but well, there's nothing. Tentacles and Oud two and a witch doctor. Is that supposed to be like a Audi or something? Feed me get the loot. Still waiting for his day. Yeah, and it, he accepts most insurance plans. You know, I got those uh, cheap insurance plans. You know, the ones that you're forced to have just to have insurance. So, oh well. Probably not going to bother with the uh, lowering resistances right now, but it'll be good for a boss. And really, that's all I care about. Okay, so over here... I ain't prepared to be lost in this dungeon, that's for sure. Okay, there's a treasure chest. Uh, let's see, up here... That was just where we could have came from, I think. An unicorn! Wait, did I see? Oh, I thought I said unicorn. Has never been in outer space. You don't neither have I. So we've got we've got something in common there, fella. Whether I want to or not. The in common part. I wouldn't mind going to space, actually. You weigh less up there, and I'm a bit chubby these days. So yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Okay, that's where we came from down there. So basically that was just a turnabout. Okay, let's see if anything over here is useful. Okay, there's that treasure chest, and that looks like it might take us where we need to go. And a chip ward. The cute killers of the animal world. Um, oh, they're chip, they're a horde of chipmunks. Zombie chipmunks. Okay. I couldn't figure out what the heck they were for a second. They looked like miniature kangaroos, but then I realized no, they're probably not. Okay, but we figured it out trial and error wins the day again. 
just like Magic would today. Somebody, somebody only took 17 damage from something. I'm not sure what. Oh, you guys got a lot more HP than I uh, gave you credit for. Let's see. Let's go with uh. Let's see if how good the uh, flame strike does on you. Uh, let's see. You go with a plague on that guy. You go with. Ice Strike on him, and you just take that guy out. Okay, so Ice Strike is doing fine. The poison. Okay. So whatever I hit him with before that only did 17 damage, well, that didn't work, but everything else did. So, oh well. You're still not letting me go over there. Okay, so we're going in all sorts of circles right here, just trying to get that dang treasure chest. Get it at some point, just I'm not sure if that some point will be today. Okay, there you are right there. So we gotta end we gotta end up to the left in order to actually get it. So let's start going to the left here. That is my current goal. Not finishing the dungeon, just get into the treasure chest. Yeah, opera singers, no thanks. Uh let's 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 insanity these guys and see how they uh turn out. Ooh, they look pretty cool. I like how the snakes got a little taller. It seems like. Ah, got you guys. Now, um, this still doesn't take me where I want to go. I think this is—is is this pretty much right where we were at the beginning of the dungeon? I think. I think so. And I don't think we went on this side. But I think we went on the uh, bottom one. All right, let's uh, insanity these guys too. Okay, well, no tentacles, I guess. And they got tonguey. And the witch doctor looks more like a monkey than ever. Did it say, Cthul Did it say my defense dropped? It looked like it said my defense, Cthulhu, dropped. So I'm not sure what happened there, but whatevs. There we go, that worked out. Let's see, how was our levels? Yeah, a couple more battles, we should be fine. And there's our treasure chest of being able to not get it. A bullwhip for October, right? Yeah. Extra strength, targets a group, very nice. And pretty much just double everything, really. I'll take it. Oh, after all the effort it took me to find the dang thing, of course I'm going to take it. Alright, I want to see what you guys look like insane, but you're pretty weak. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, kill you guys in one fell swoop here. Sorry, guys. But again, I'm hardly ever going to use October's attack now that I'm thinking about it. So, oh, I didn't even notice this guy. Zapper, made of highly conductive metallic pine. So, if we... I'm assuming that means he actually attacks with lightning, or is weak to lightning, but we could also just be weak to physical attacks, so that works too. Now I want to get back to where I was and start getting out of here. Was this going to take me anywhere? It was. Now, uh, we didn't see what the unicorn looked like all insanified. And he turned into Gene Simmons. That's great. And the ghost turned into flashers. Is this this might be okay I think this is pretty much where we were already yeah the trees don't look that much better they look okay I guess has drunk deeply from the punch well as long as it's not spike we should be fine right let's see we don't need any combo finishers yet just in case they get stronger later but I don't think they will guys 
guys are all doing okay. Yeah, we can just uh, spam our way through here. You guys aren't putting much of a fight. Okay, and off to that side, we already explored. Over here, we have not explored. It looks like it might take us somewhere. And we got a bunch of chip hordes. Okay, uh, I want to see what the uh, chip hordes look like when they're all death. Uh, let's see, we can target both of those guys with plague. I'll take that. You should be able to take that guy out in one hit there, bud. You, let's go with a fireball on the chip horde there and see how it goes. And we got nutted. We got it. Great. They settled us with their nuts. That's beautiful. They, looks, they only... They didn't get that much of a difference, really. Kind of disappointed, but oh well. It looks like they just kind of like stood up a little taller and opened their mouth a little more, and that's pretty much it. All right, strength or magic? Um, strength, because we don't use your magic that much. I mean, yeah, we use the insanity to insane everybody, but that's pretty much it so far. Targets one enemy, stun, or targets one enemy with a lower percent chance to stun, but a higher base power. Yeah, let's go with the higher chance to stun, because, well, that's what we're going to use it for. I mean, yeah, the extra damage is nice, but we got so many damage dealers, damage dealing moves, and I'm not really too terribly concerned with it, so here we go. And hopefully this takes us to the next section of the uh, area here. Let's see, I want to get you guys nice and insanity -ed. Let's try that real fast. And you guys look pretty cool. I, think, I don't think you guys were on fire before, were you? I'm curious, now that they're on fire, would they be more weak to, uh... Flood? Well, we might not find out, but... I didn't see how much damage they took before, but they took some damage there, so that works. Alright, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here. And next time, we're going to go ahead and see what this question mark says. And continue further into the Ghost Forest Level 3. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.